Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. And it is freezing, cold, and uh, yeah, feels like winter's on its way. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 24. The hand of the diligent will rule, but the lazy hand will be put to force labour. The hand of the diligent, meaning the work or the labour of the diligent. So the life of the diligent, those who are diligent are people who have a bit of self-respect. They have dedication and commitment. They are trustworthy and reliable. You can uh, invest yourself in the diligent because you know you're going to get a good return. They're going to say what they say and do what they do. They're going to be everything you would anticipate them to be. And their diligency is what's motivating them. It's not the fact that you're paying them money or that they have in some way you know, have great need, uh, but that they are themselves are their own lion. They recognise that real credibility is not built upon being unreliable and being untrustworthy, but diligence is about recognising the true value of building uh, with really good bricks and um, working with the proper way rather than the improper way. They have a big picture on the whole experience rather than just seeing it from one perspective. So diligence is a, a real credible thing to uh, desire and aspire to. And it says here, it says that the diligent in 24, the diligent, will rule and rightly so if you think about it because they can be those very people you know unfortunately for us we have been surrounded all my lifetime it seems by politicians who have not been so uh, recognized as diligent in their way they rule and take charge the inconsistencies are constantly being reported to us and that sense of holding office and having an element of self-respect in the position of trust has often been abused, not just in politics, even in the church. Many leaders, Christian leaders, have abused people with their position of authority. And uh, so the church itself has not got a good example of diligence, but there are those, whether in the church or in politics or in society or in your local butcher, the sense of being diligent in the task. Uh, they're the ones, Solomon says, they're the ones that are going to be in charge. They're going to rule. Unlike the lazy. Now, here we've got another group of people. The lazy, the hands of the lazy will be put to false labour. Though the diligent rule, they will rule people who are lazy. They will take charge of the lazy. They will make them do the meaningful tasks of life. That sense of lazy because they wouldn't do the right thing. They always sought to try and uh, scheme around uh, the, uh, the appropriate pathway to take. The lazy and the inappropriate. Those who won't get up and go work. Uh, uh, Philippians says that they should not even eat bread if they won't work. Uh, it's not good to be lazy. It's bad. And we shouldn't be lazy. We should be diligent. We should be proactive. We should be those whose society says, look at that person. They've got credibility. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow.